From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Here is the latest on Tropical Storm Don. Yesterday, it was a subtropical depression. It has gained a little bit of strength. Now, officially a tropical storm. It is a, expected to kind of meander out here in the middle of the Atlantic over the next several days. And as of right now, it's expected to continue to be a tropical storm. Elsewhere across the Atlantic, no tropical activity is expected over the next seven days. So far, we've made it through Don. There's the rest of the names for the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season. Hopefully we won't get too deep into that name list. Yesterday in the capital city made it up to 93 degrees. That is exactly what we would expect on July 17th. Average high is 93 degrees. No rain officially at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Although on Monday there were a few stray showers and even or maybe a rumble of thunder in the southern and western half of the Midlands. Not a lot of rain yesterday whatsoever. But as we kind of look ahead towards the end of the month, 29th, 30th and 31st, our average temperature does decrease. So that's something to kind of look forward to. Our average temperature does decrease towards the end of July. Looking ahead towards this afternoon, notice a couple of showers and thunderstorms will be possible along the coastal region of South Carolina. And about like yesterday across the Midlands, a stray shower, a thunderstorm, probably just enough to mention, but once again, would not expect a whole lot of rainfall. Otherwise, just, just going to be kind of hot and hazy across the Midlands. Looking ahead towards tomorrow, small chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm with a slightly better chance of rain along the coastal region of South Carolina, and then there'll be a chance for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. So those rain chances will inch up a little bit each and every day. Looking ahead towards Thursday, the Storm Prediction Center does have a large portion of the Palmetto State under a marginal risk for severe weather and a slight risk here basically from, let's say Chester, York, Fairfield counties, all the way through the PD and over towards the Grand Strand. So. We'll have to watch that small potential for maybe some strong or severe thunderstorms on Thursday. We'll also be watching the haze in the sky. Here's some pictures from our WLTX Weather Watchers Facebook page there. You know, so hazy skies. That's going to be the case again for today. Here's our smoke forecast. You know, so those yellowish colors there that would indicate that haze or that smoke still kind of hanging around from those Canadian wildfires. So kind of a hazy day across the Midlands with highs low to mid 90s. Heat index values will top off in the triple digits. It looks like again for today, tomorrow, maybe jumping up to about 108 on Thursday as that moisture really starts to increase. Here's the lake forecast for the next couple of days. Winds relatively light to calm with highs in the low to mid 90s and looking towards the South Carolina coast, upper 80s, low 90s Tuesday, maybe a touch hotter in Hilton Head, but chance for a pop up shower or thunderstorm as you would expect along the coastal region of South Carolina. Here's our seven day forecast for the Midlands. High temperatures low to mid 90s through Friday. Better rain chances on Saturday in the form of scattered showers and storms. And then maybe a pop up shower or two on Sunday. Notice temperatures over the weekend do drop into the upper 80s to low 90s. Coastal forecasts. It'll be a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm each and every day. I think the hottest day probably on Friday. Those temperatures do drop down a touch over the weekend and the forecast for the upstate. Looks like temperatures dropping a little bit with some clouds and maybe a little bit of rain in the upstate and then looking ahead towards the weekend. Not bad, especially as we look ahead towards Sunday and Monday with highs in the mid to upper 80s. But looking ahead, our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, warmer than normal conditions are expected across the deep south, including South Carolina. This would be July 25th through the last day of July, July 31st.